The street is filled with talent. Many of these healthcare professionals will never work in industry again because the jobs are simply not there. And most of them want our jobs. Most recent five acquisitions. And if you read this month's Pharma Voice magazine, you saw some of the sick pipelines in terms of who could be next. So is this a dead end for our careers? Is it the end of the road for a career in biopharma? No. I think not. But it's definitely a loud wake-up call and shake-up call for each and every one of us. Whether you want to climb the corporate ladder or just hang on to your job, whether you hope to score that big interview or lead the meeting, it's time to take a step back. Let's consider, have we even had a time, a chance? We're so busy doing, keeping up with this crazy, crazy replexity of change. Have we had a chance to just take a step back and think, what's the impact on us? What does this really mean? How can I plan to survive, much less thrive? And it's a very, very broad topic area. So when we put together the program, <laughs> we were challenged because there are a number of areas that you may be interested in exploring about exponential change. So let's take a time, a few minutes now, to actually take a step back and think about that. Okay. Now here's where it gets interesting. Hold that thought that you had in mind and switch the writing instrument to the opposite hand and continue writing for the next 90 seconds. <laughs> so how was it? I didn't hear anyone say... That was easy. <laughs> the reason is there's no easy button for change. Because change, quite simply, ain't easy. It's never easy. It's always challenging. It's always difficult. It's always frustrating. We really just don't like it. Regardless of what our style is, most of us are not signing up to do things differently. We have to think about it. It's hard. It takes longer. It's more stressful. It's exhausting. But what's the one thing we can control? It's us and how we lead and how we help people adapt to change. Change agility is really what we need. So the late great Arthur Ashe, I've sort of taken a page from him. I actually admired him very much because this is a guy who knew about changing the game and also dealing with horrible unexpected changes. He, his formula we will use as our step care therapy. He said, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. And if we just do that, we've done a lot 